welcome to my channel. I am Danny Blue, a natural hair, lifestyle, fashion, and beauty blogger. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this ain't your first time here with your girl, welcome back. Those of you who are new to my channel, please help me reach my goal of 8,000 subscribers by joining that subscription button. I assure you, you enjoy your stay. Join the fam bam, get comfortable. Make sure you like the video if you like what you see. Now, we're just gonna roll right on into this video, make it short, sweet, and to the point. So, from the title, you can tell this is going to be a review of the Sephora blush. Well, it's called the Sephora Contour Blush Spice Market Blush Palette. And this is what it looks like in the box. I really do like the colors that are on here because it also reflects the colors that are on the inside of here. Um, and then on the back, it just tells you about the colors, the ingredients, you know, the usual. Um, Nothing special, cute. Then you get to the actual item. It has a film over it. Um, it's plastic, nice casing, so you can see everything that's on the inside. And it also has a insert. So in case like you're one of those people that you feel like, oh, I need coverage, it got you covered. <sighs> I don't know how a piece of hair got in there. So these are the colors. They are just really, really beautiful. Um, I don't think they have real names so I'm just want to look because I don't think you can like get these colors separate and I didn't tell you what the price point was I believe this is $18 I could be wrong if not I'll put the amount on the screen or I'll put it in the box so you'll know how much it costs but I do believe this was $18 I could be lying but I think it was $18 maybe I want it to be $18 because that seemed kind of cheap but we're gonna keep moving so I don't think they have name names it just says, turn up the heat with this spicy collection of six warm blush shades, universally flattering colors in both matte and shimmer finishes, suit every skin tone from light to deep. Soft pigmented formula blends seamlessly into skin for a subtle or fiery flush. So yeah, they it's another one of these palettes. It's like a lighter palette, and I didn't like that one because I didn't feel like it would suit my skin tone, but this one right here is really pretty. So I guess I can swatch them for you. This one is like an iridescent shift see so even though it looks white in the palette it does not look white on the skin um, the one down beneath is a brownie and it melts into my skin really really good I use this one as a contour most of the time and let's go to the middle and this one also that one I do use as a highlighter it's this one up here so it's more of a gold brownish tone thingamajig yeah go to the next one which will be this orange which is my favorite color and why i bought this and it's just such a beautiful 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 orange that shows up beautifully on our brown skin melanin the next color we're going to go down here to this shimmery one and so you see, it's just like, these are all like in the same color family for the most part. Um, and then the last one is up here, which is the one I wear the most. Um, let's put it right here. And I just like it because I'm more of a mauve type, blush type girl. But all of these I have used as blushes, no. Yes, I've used all of these as blushes. Um, I've used the orange one and this one on my eye as eyeshadow. And I've used these two and these two as actual highlighters. So I feel like not only can you contour with them, but you can also multi-purpose. So you can use them on your eyes. You, you can use them on a contour. You can use them as a highlighter. You can also, I mean, not also, but those are the uses that I found so far with them. Um, also, what I do like about these is that they blend out effortlessly. So a little goes a long way. You don't like this one. I swipe these two. I swipe like really heavy AF and I don't know why but because if I put that on my face it would take me forever to blend it out so a little does go a long way with these they don't have any type of smell I know I wasn't supposed to buy this because this is not vegan um yeah and you all know that I'm trying to move towards a vegan lifestyle so shame on me but 
I just could not help myself because I don't think I was going to find any other palettes that had these type colors that I wanted. Now, some people had told me I could have gotten the, um, what is it? The, um, Juvia's Place Saharan um, blushes and they're comparable to these. But when I looked at them, even though I didn't buy them, I wasn't able to swatch them or anything. Y'all know Juvia's Place is in Ulta now. Big ups to them. But I just felt like this was different than the Juvia's Place and this is the palette that I needed the most. I do like that it's pretty compact. I mean, some people think it's cheap. I don't think it's cheap. I think it does what I need it to do. The colors are beautiful. You can multi-purpose with them. It's affordable. Uh, I keep saying it's $18. I hope it's $18. If not, it could be like $24 or $36. But it's really, really, really worth the money. I don't remember how much it is, but it is worth the money. If it's $18, it's hella worth it. But at this point, I need you to understand that this is a deal and for it to be a Sephora brand it works marvelously and I know a lot of people will be sleeping on Sephora brand, Sephora brand because they're like uh it's not gonna be like a NARS it's not gonna be like a Kat Von D and no it's not gonna be like that it's gonna be a Sephora and it works really really good so I need us to stop sleeping on the store brand and thinking that you know Sephora stuff is below average when this stuff right here is on par and better than some of the other contour and um, blush palettes that are out. And I have a lot of blushes, so I know good blush when I see it, and this is it. So if you're looking for something nice for the fall, winter, to get you over that hump to the spring, this right here for your dark skin girls will work. Now, I know some of these colors might seem a little bit abrasive for someone that might be lighter than me, but if you're my skin tone, maybe a little lighter, maybe darker, this right here is going to be bomb. Now, then again, there is another palette. It's lighter, and I just didn't like that one, and that one might suit your needs if you are fair skinned, but this right here, this right here for us melanated, melanated women and men Sephora got you covered I want to thank you all for joining in with me today make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this to the point review um, I don't have any on on my skin oh yes I do no I don't I did not put on any today um, I'll try to insert some pictures so you can see me wearing it because it just looks really beautiful um, yeah Join the Van Van. I'll hit you up later. Any questions, comments down below. See you next time.